Hello everyone, it's Quest Quenchers here today, and we are back in Dragon's Dogma. So today we are going to, I believe, visit the Duchess in her in the garden, I think. Mirabella name is okay. Cool. Hello. Praise the maker, you've come, Arisen. Oh, this is glorious, most glorious. I just noticed there's something in there. Pardon me, sir. Forgive the ramblings of a handmaiden on a strange errand. Okay. It's only my lady's request to see you is a rare thing, you see. First in all my years with her, in truth. Oh, okay. I trust you understand the delicacy of the situation. My lady is a married woman, I need not remind you. And well, yes. Even innocent conversation could be bent foul were it discovered by others. Pray, walk softly, Arisen, and have a care to let none find you visiting my lady's chambers. Got it. Ah. Right, so how do we... Oh, of course, the tallest tower. A simple conversation wouldn't be so bad, would it? It's not going to be a conversation. <laughs> My warrior has come for me. You must think me a shameless harlot. Yep. <laughs> no, no. Words could prove my love is pure. No, you must hide. There is a boldness that fills the dragon. Quickly! You storm the lady's bedchambers with the urgency of a man in battle. <laughs> He's so creepy, that bloke is. Oh, fear not! I shan't eavesdrop on the ducal proceedings. I remain to stand watch at the guard, Sire. For your protection, of course. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. My Lord Edwin, would you had mentioned your coming? I might have dressed more finely. Well, we gotta interrupt this. Hey, what are you doing? He knows, Danny. 
It's like, yeah, yeah, something's not quite right here. Well, what have we here? Friend of the Duchess, sneaking off to her chambers for a cup of tea. Must be a fine tea. What to come all this way in the dead of night? Or perhaps you seek refreshment of a different sort. Like a turn in the sheets with his grace's own wife. Damn. You're tougher than you seem. Perhaps there's aught to this arisen business after all. Merely a flesh wound, the lash. I've been hit by ogres, cyclopses, everything. That was nothing. I'm dead. <laughs> what have I done? I cannot ask forgiveness for this betrayal. But I was certain the Duke would cut me down where I stood had I not spoken so. A large mushroom. Do I still... I don't have many of my equipment, do I? Okay. That's great. Uh, Alright. Oh, God. Ow. Gonna heal me up further, Hannah? <laughs> just, just, you know, let me uh, have a little bit of missing health. There we go. Thanks. Well, at least we know not to uh, get involved with uh, married women. <laughs> or we get the lash. <laughs> Funny. I reckon if you follow an ox, does that attract a uh, a griffin? That's what I want to kind of know. We are heading the right way, right? Yeah, I think we're. That's. We got the encampment. Yeah, that's the first like way castle into. Grand Soren stands beyond this way castle. Oh. Arisen, urgent word from the capital, sir. You are to return to Aldous' side with all possible haste. Oh, okay. Oh. All right, let's get away, Crystal. All right, you guys, let's try and take out this big bird. Come down. Um. 
Oh god, salvation again. Oh, now I'm poisoned. I don't think I'm petrified. I don't, how would I know? I could use your help, to be honest, gang. Okay, so it's firing stuff at me. Shooting the boxes. Let's take another one. How did that happen? And where's my green stuff? <laughs> well, we need to get another. Uh, <laughs> I might hire a, another fighter, maybe. Because warriors are not being very good right now. Right, we drove it off, but we didn't kill it. A bit annoying. Await you, Elizabeth. Best you did not keep him waiting. Yeah. What damage have I wrought in carelessness to allow an agent of salvation through? And in sending you away before the creature was revived, the damage was all the greater. While I, in my fool credulity, ran to the castle, only to be knocked incensed by some villain. Oh. It was a lucky thing the beast was kept from the residential quarter. Ugh, or the castle. We must rethink the practice of tribute to prevent such a happening again. Yes. But now, though, the danger has passed. What of the damages? Order has been restored, though not without casualty. 
A few of the trophies were lost. An unavoidable fate given the circumstances. No doubt. You have my thanks, Arisen. Your aid spared us greater loss. The beast is slain as well. In truth, it is fine work. Still, uh. I know you capable of greater feats. May your next victory be grander still. Yep. Right, that wasn't good, was it? We didn't do too great there. Hail Arisen. Good. His Grace has taken notice of your feats and selected you to lead an expedition. Ah, oh, okay. It's a difficult task, but of critical importance to the defense of the front. The Duke was adamant that none would do so fine as you, sir. True. The journey will take you afar, Arisen. Ah, oh, okay. If you've tasks to complete or personal matters to attend to, pray, do so now. It is like you will not see Grand Soren for some time. Very well. Make your prep. All right, I better have a look around. What's uh, any preparations for me? Anything? Anyone want to speak to me? Brother, hold your peace. I thought, you know, that like Madeline. I think, no, not Madeline. Mary or something? That's the black cats. Wasn't there another shop somewhere? The Scrivener, the black cat here, can duplicate objects in your possession. Precious things gone wrong. Here for business? Then you've heard not the news. Madeline's in some trouble of late. Oh. She abandoned her shop and fled under cover of night. Well. Just what trouble is Madeline? I fear Madeline is caught up in now. an intrigue well beyond her ken. I've never done this quest before. Pray tell. Here for business? <laughs> Madeline, she... Okay. Tis Madeline's blade, make no mistake. Has something happened? Should I investigate the area? Hey! Best ask Madeline's shop? Sure, everyone knows of it. She bought the place when the first donor fled the dragon. Open for business soon after. She has a fine head for figures. Bit stingy with the credit, if I dare say so. It's odd she closed so sudden like. I'd wager there's more to this tale than we can say. Yeah. We know too little. Perhaps we'll find another witch. Yes, tongues wag with talk of Madeline. Rumor has it she was dealing in illicit goods. Some authority uncovered her game and she was forced to shutter her shop. I hear she fled too before the guards had a chance to arrest her. Just what was she up to? I'd like to know. Many's the person comes to drink here. All Someone bearing must different know something tales. about this matter. Let's ask around. Hmm. Any more people know about where she would be? Oh. I have a quest marker. <laughs> oh. Forgot she had a shop. I would have. There was probably an earlier quest I could have done to help her out or something, or convince her to do different stuff. We'll scour oh. Madeline fled along the waterway below us. Right, we're not gonna harm her, right? I don't wanna be doing anything like that. We just need to arrest her, right? Hopefully, or see if we can help her out. Or is she after, you say the guards? Or, well, that's the rumor. Or is she being attacked by someone else? Uh... She kinda got that far. Hello. So I'm discovered at last. You must believe me. I've done nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. They say I dealt in banned goods. Okay. If it's true, I swear it was not my intent. I had no idea. But as I don't expect them to take me at my word, I was forced into hiding. Yeah. 
fled in such haste, all my goods were left behind. More's the pity, I suppose. Wish I'd thought to secure my dagger. It's a kind of charm what brings good fortune, you see. It's been with me since my first days peddling turnips. Without it, I feel not myself, but a fool to leave it in my own shop. Most like I'll never see the old thing again. But then, I've greater concerns at the moment. I've never seen trouble the likes of this. Even now, I feel the tears welling. It took all of my will and every last bit of gold to see that shop opened. And now, if you hadn't found me, I don't know what I'd do. Huh? No! Soldiers! Well met. Hey. We pursue a female merchant named Madeline. She is charged by his grace with trafficking in those queer medallions. Mm -hmm. As a symbol of salvation, the sale of such is blasphemy and treason both. Ah. Oh. We mean to arrest her and uncover the girl's connection to the zealot's leadership. We believe she is in hiding near here. Have you seen aught that might aid us? Well, she was seen... She might actually be a member of Salvation. Yeah, she's over there. I hoped as much. We've reports of the girl in this area. Ho! Oh, there she is! After her! With your leave, sir. Why did you head back that way? You, you saved me. What? Thank you. Whoops. But you have little talent in the art of deception, Arisen. <laughs> Perhaps you should spend more time with me. Oh. I can tarry no longer. I must seek safety somewhere further off. I'm at peace with the laws of my shop and merchandise. Such things can be replaced. Okay. But parting from you is a blow far more cruel. What? I speak from the heart. Uh huh. Shames me to ask for more when you have given me so much. Yet, might you spare some gold for my travels? My hasty departure left me without a single coin to my name. If all goes well, I shall pay you back in full. Fifty. Most likely. Eventually. Uh, you know what? As long as you don't do anything for salvation, yeah, sure. Thank you. You show such kindness to this foolish girl, and I... I love you for it. Yeah, sure. Get out of here. Once I'm safely away, I will establish a new shop in whatever place my travels take me. And when my purse jingles once again, I shall track you down and repay my debt. Truly. <laughs> that camera angle. <laughs> well, I must be off. I must say, before leaving Cassidus with you, my life was utterly hopeless. But see how far I've come. I even had a shop of my own. If only for a moment, I can take pride in that. And as this adventure failed to kill me, perhaps I may even learn aught from it. Or not. I know not what fortune holds for you, Arisen, but I trust it will be terrifically exciting. Please don't die. Promise me you'll come see me in my next shop. Mm hmm. Farewell, Arisen. Farewell. I'm never going to see you again, and that's fine. <laughs> I have a duchess. Oh, I thought she was, like, going to cast a spell then or something and kill me. You shouldn't go out at night, by the way. I've learned what to do in this quest. 
Oh. I don't know if you guys did. I don't know where she's gonna go. Right, I'm gonna head to Cassidus. Oh. Undead, uh, gone. <laughs> Will be joy to see. Yeah, I know. They like me. They really love me. Oh. Oh. What's this? Oh. Hello. No. Trail can't broke hold now. Oh, father. Where are you? Huh? What in the maker's name is the arisen? No. Who am I to question fortune's gift? Yeah, talk to me. Please help me find my father. He's a gardener in his grace Duke Edmund's castle. I awoke one morning to find him vanished without a word. It's not like him at all. I've searched for near on a week now, but found nothing. I beg your aid, Sir Arisen. Truly nowhere else to turn. Take this. My father will know it on first glance. Make us speed your steps. Inquire around Grand Soren. I can do that. Sorry, kid. Let's try the castle. Hello. Well met, Arisen. How may I aid you, sir? You seek a way with Gardner? <laughs> I fear I'll be little help for your cause. Yet hold a moment. We had cause to interrogate a castle laborer some days past. Oh, okay. Our spies learned of a plot wherein secrets of state were leaked into a gang of bandits. I believe the workmen suspected of this sedition is in our custody still. I fear that's as much as I know, sir. That I could aid you further. I pray I'm mistaken. I was Colin's father in prison. Well met, sir. Well, has he admitted to it? Where's this going? No, oh, not giving me uh, the additional map that you have. Oh, okay. Oh. Now you struggling. What? What? Use your toad in a bit of coin by your freedom. Yeah, here you go. No love of crowds and less still of unwanted chatter. Pray, move along, sir. Hmm. Am I not allowed in the ha in the? I pray I'm mistaken, but was Tomlin's father in prison? I'm not allowed there anymore, am I? During the night, maybe. That's twice they've stripped me down now and uh, made me have to do this. <laughs> yes, there we go. That I think that there is the like Duke's sort of. Uh... Well, that's great. Hey, mate. The noblest of convictions can't fill a man's belly as well as. Are you gonna come closer to the door, mate, or you're gonna you're gonna make me get buy a skeleton key, aren't you? Dude. My permit. Then my son is safe. Make her be praised. That such a fate could befall me. 
I never so much as considered it. Twas ill luck alone put me in this spot. I but overheard a conversation. I was attending to my duties as a royal aide, and a nobleman spoke nearby, yes? But I knew them not, and gave their fervent whispers little attention. Yet without warning, I found myself summoned by a guardsman. Oh. He accused me of spying on the pair, and banished me to the dungeon forthwith. That's not good. Who was it? I've lived the memory many times over in this place. Most like I could recall parts of the conversation if pressed. Okay. But that means naught now. I seek only to save my life. Or yeah. That, keep harm from my son. Time is short. The guard will return here long and begin their interrogation. Most like they'll employ torture, which leaves my chances of survival pitifully low. I implore you, Arisen. Lead me from this terrible place. You are my final hope. Save me, sir. I beg of you. Can I open this? Crap. I'm pretty sure I could just take him through this way, can't I? Don't mind me. To attempt escape through the main gate. Is it? It doesn't seem like we're doing anything. So, it's an escape attempt, huh? Expected better from the Arisen, I did. <gasps> Arisen! Are we gonna get locked in the blinking thing again? We must not be deterred. Doing well, are you? No. I keep... I need to find more skeleton keys. Well met, sir. Right, I'm gonna call it an episode here. <laughs> I might just... Uh, finish this quest because it's a little bit annoying. Uh, but yeah, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Uh, <laughs> hopefully we'll have better luck try and save that dude but i doubt we'll be able to without skeleton keys we're a bit useless uh please like subscribe and uh goodbye have a good rest of your day bye bye